on the farm tonight. Time to talk turkey. There have been warnings that there might be a shortage of turkeys for Thanksgiving and that the price of turkeys that are available could be double over previous years. WFSR's George Noliff takes a look closer look. Call it all turkeys. Yeah, it's that time of year, and if you haven't hunted one, then to get to this, like most of us, you need to buy one. I, I hope there's not a run on turkeys. Don't worry, there won't be. Even though this year it's a good news, bad news situation, the bad news, fresh turkey numbers could be in short supply. Avian flu, especially in the Midwest, has knocked down numbers. The good news? Well, there are plenty of frozen turkeys harvested before that outbreak, though you'll probably pay more for them this year. They forage a lot, and, and they eat acorns, they eat grass, they eat clover, whatever's growing in the pasture, and you can see them hunting for that. That's Jordan Sharps. Turkeys are among the poultry he pasture raises at Rabbit Head Farm in Franklin County. Here in Virginia, turkey farmers have mostly dodged the avian flu bullet. The process for raising fresh turkeys for Thanksgiving begins in the summer to get the birds to just the right size for Thanksgiving. For Thanksgiving turkeys, they finish out between about 12 and 16 weeks and we do all of our own processing here on the farm which is we think lower stress for the animals too and, and we think ultimately leads to a better food product. While you'll pay more for turkeys this year because of supply issues that's not the only reason. Like all farmers Sharps says his input costs are way up. We're going up in price a little bit this year just out of necessity you know we try to control those costs but we've seen our our feed inputs go up over the past two years, maybe not with probably 30%. While there are obstacles, Sharp says raising turkeys is a choice and something he's happy to do. As long as people keep enjoying it, we'll keep producing them and we hope to, to grow with folks in that regard. And you'll find turkeys farmed in different ways in Virginia. Some, like the birds at Rabbit Head, are pastured free-range turkeys. They feed on what they find and then their diet's supplemented. Others are farmed in enclosures, usually in big numbers, and they primarily eat a diet of feed, usually a mix of corn and soybean meal. Wow, George. <laughs> well, you mentioned there could be a shortage of fresh birds, so can you still get one? Yeah, you can still get one, but you're going to have to look. Um, some farmers will sell direct to consumers. However, most of those birds have already been committed. Other farmers committed their flocks to buyers like meat markets and specialty stores. The good news, there will be frozen birds available in grocery stores, and, and if you cook them the right way, they're, they're still delicious. Oh, that's a good one. I'm ready for my turkey this year. Thanks, Georgie. <laughs>